Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here by myself today. It's General Dice, Todd Evangelista, and I'm here with... Brennan Ashby of Pure Steam. And the one who's missing is Marshall Dice, Adam Campbell, but we're going to just have an interview between the two of us and talk about what you have here. You, this is a game that you have made? Yeah, or It's a campaign setting for the uh, Pathfinder role-playing game. Oh, a campaign setting, and this is for role-playing. Yes. Right. Now, this is for the D20... Pathfinder. Okay, so it's Pathfinder, but you're using the open license yep. from D&D? Excellent. All right, now, for the people who don't know, Pathfinder uses the D20 basic system, but they have gone on and on and advanced it and worked out all the bugs from it, basically. It's uh, d and 3.75. Yes, exactly. And if you ask them, though, of course, it's not D&D at all. Right, it's Pathfinder. Either. So this is based... Did you play Pathfinder yeah. yourself? And was that in the campaign system or, what, like, you know, where you... the we used to call it the living system. Right. It was. Uh, we've. Did, I've done both. I've done just the normal mm -hmm. game, and I've also done uh, their campaign setting, which I think is the Inner Seas. Inner Seas. Yes, that's right. And were you a dungeon master or were you a player? Uh, both. Both. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how did? Now, this is. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the differences between your setting and the Pathfinder setting. Okay, we, we do a, a steampunk campaign setting where we actually take like an alternate history of the United States and make it all fantasy like right and so you still have so because we're compatible with the Pathfinder game you still have races like uh, elves and dwarves and and goblins and everything else uh, but we just kind of steam it up a bit with tech right and a, a different universe from the the Pathfinder campaign setting itself. well well do you have clerics and such that will do but it's a low magic setting high tech setting ah so if somebody gets injured, let's say you take uh, seven points of damage, how do they heal that damage? There are, there's still like clerics and things. So if if they're cleric in the party, they can still get healed. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's all skill based. Do you you do use you know medical healing and things like that? So if you get severely injured, though, you're pretty. It's a, it's a you're pretty much yeah. It's a grittier setting. It certainly is. But yeah, yeah. We, we do have you know. There's still alchemy is still a big part of it. One of the things I did notice about the Pathfinder setting was it almost seems like they want to get away from clerics doing everything. It little yeah, yeah. You know they have always alchemists have this or you have a he It's not a healing potion. It's like a poultice or something like mm -hmm. that. That they, they and there seems to be two levels that what you can do as an adventurer and like what the common person has, right? You know, so uh, yeah, and, and that's that's a grittier setting. It's a, uh, it's um, I wouldn't say it's uh, pulp, but yeah, it's it's hard to get back on your feet if you if you get really sure. knocked down. Now in this system, you said there were hillbillies. Yeah, so our our take on steampunk is a little different than the traditional take, which is like a Victorian steampunk. We, our take is more like an Appalachian hillbilly steampunk, where it's it's grittier. It's more about the steam tech than top hats and corsets. Mm -hmm. And you have people like moonshiners, and you have you know, uh, rough and tumble guys jumping jumping off of you know ships and and moving vehicles. Well, can I ask you, are these ships flying in yeah. the air? Yes. Okay. Flying ships, yeah, and a lot of trains and such. Yes, a lot of trains. Good. And the alternate history of the United States is it like, uh, where does it diverge? Almost from the beginning. The only the only place that it's there's there's hints towards the real world. We still use a similar map to the real world. Mm -hmm. um, events are kind of similar. There's there's been revolutions and there's been you know uh, similar you know history of like you know glacial formations and earth moving and things like that but it's all completely different in terms of the races the actual events that happen right like, that. like we have slavery but it's like the humanoids were the slaves and mm -hmm. the goblins were the slavers and then you know that's where the revolution happened and ah, i see so now really how many how, how long have you been working on this um we started working on the game in 2011. Um, we mm, okay, that's 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 pretty fast, really, for a campaign yeah. setting. And we put when up you a, think of like Forgotten Realms was right. ten years before he even sent something in to uh, Dragon or Dungeon Magazine or Dragon Magazine, and yeah. then all of a sudden, 
you know, that's their basic setting. Yep. And then so we put it out on so Kickstarter good. in 2011 or 12, published the book in 2013. Mm -hmm. And now we just funded our second book on Kickstarter, which is a oh. Wild West steampunk using the same setting. So it's going to be uh, the same setting only 50 years in the future or? Uh, a few years in the future, yeah. Okay. All right. And then, or is it going to be just like this is Eastern United States and that's Western? Uh, more of that. Okay. Yeah. But there is going to be a little bit of an advancement in the timeline, but not like a huge Not huge. huge okay. Great. Well, great. Well, uh, now let's uh, do your information and where people can get this if they'd like it. Sure. Uh, would you have? Uh, what's your website? PureSteamRPG.com. And this is yeah, and this is Pure Steam RPG campaign setting, and uh, we'll put a link below, down there, and uh, so and uh, generally, what's uh, what's MSRP on this? Uh, the book, the hardcover. Um, the price is different. I think it's like thirty bucks online. Mm -hmm. Thirty to forty bucks online. Okay, well that's comparable and then we have, with everything. We also have PDFs, which are I think ten to fifteen. Oh, okay. So for yeah, that's very affordable. Yep. Very affordable. Excellent. Well, this is very very nice chatting with you, and thanks for coming on the show. And I am General Dice, uh, missing our, our my my co-pilot, Marshall Dice, Adam Campbell. I'm Todd Evangelista, and I've been here speaking with. Brennan Ashby at Fierce Team. All right, thanks. Thank you.